Hey y'all, I'm gonna show you how to do a quick marinated red onion. Like with other marinades and sauces and things, I like having these things in the fridge quite often as much as I can because it makes putting a meal together really fast. All I have to do is go find my sauce, take it out, throw it on something. The cool thing with a lot of these sauces too, especially the marinades and the chimichurris and the uh, pestos and things like that is they just get better with time. And they don't usually go bad as quickly as some other things. You know, anything that has some, kind of some fruit and stuff in there, you might be a little bit more worried about it going bad. But things like marinades or that have a lot of vinegar in them and oil, those are generally gonna last for a pretty good amount of time. Okay, on that note, I'm gonna start doing these marinated red onions. Really easy, nothing fancy. It does require actually cutting an onion, which makes me sad. You guys. You know, if you've been with me for a little while, you know I'm not a huge fan of actually cutting onion if I don't have to. I will use the cheater method and I will buy it pre-cut. I recommend doing that if you can, honestly. If you just really don't like chopping certain vegetables and it's gonna keep you from using them, you know, spending a little bit of extra money here and there to save you that hassle, it might be worth it for you. It's worth it for me. All right. I'm gonna slice it pretty thin because I want more surface area to be exposed to that vinegar. Size onion you use is up to you. It's really how much you wanna have in your, in your fridge at any given time. So I'm gonna throw these in this container, spreading them out as best I can. Okay, everything in there. Now I'm gonna take my red wine vinegar because that's what I like to use to marinate my red onions. And I'm just gonna pour in as much as I need to cover these onions. So the size of your container is gonna kind of, you know, dictate maybe what you're gonna need on that. And I'm not actually really gonna pour it all the way to the top. I just don't think that's necessary. You could, I mean, if this was in a jar or a larger container, I could fully cover everything and let it be fully submerged. But the onions are going to sink down in there. They're gonna get it you know, more and more, and then as you take onions out, they'll press down. So I don't really think there's a need to fully cover the onions. Put that lid on and then store this in the fridge. That's it for today.